G'day everyone, Billy here from West Australia. Well, this is a beautiful aquarium. I found out a rubbish dump probably about a month ago, guys. And I'm not a big fan of fish, so I thought it'd be a perfect spot for using it for my tadpole breeding program, for looking after my tadpoles and so forth, guys. So I've got some beautiful tadpoles in here at the moment. They're pretty young, probably, I don't know, three to four months old these ones unsure of the species at this stage guys but there's probably around probably 500 in here 500 beautiful tadpoles so there you are so we've got some beautiful native water grasses in here a few others just there just to put a bit of oxygen in the water guys so I'm not a big fan of fish fellas, I hate fish, except for native West Australian fish, but because of, uh, as I always say fellas, land clearing, salinity, they've all been decimated, wiped out, more or less impossible to find where I come from. The only uh, fish that I come across these days are the Gambusia minnow, which is an introduced species I think comes from South America and that's basically wiped out all the frogs and native fish as well the gambusa or the gambusia minnow so anyway fellas so like i say this is my little breeding um or rescue for my tadpoles so i've got heaps of ponds fellas heaps of beautiful rockeries and so forth there's a beautiful pond in there so i've got about 10 to 12 Ponds what I've made, all beautiful rockeries and rocks that I found out, rubbish dumps and so forth. So I'll give you a quick tour, just one more, a couple more. So there's one there, big long one. That one there's made out of a old antique copper water heater, what I've cut in half. So you can just see the copper down there. So also fellas, in regards to my tadpoles, there's frogs breeding in these ones at the moment, but the biggest threat to my tadpoles are other frogs. This one here used to be full of hundreds of tadpoles, but there's a couple of frogs in there and they've basically eaten them all. There might be, a, I don't know, 10, 10 left in there. There was hundreds, but that's, that happens naturally anyway in the environment, fellas. There's another one right here. This is made out of a, just a plastic, half a 44 gallon drum see the blue plastic down there same problem here fellas frogs have eaten all my all most of my tadpoles so yeah, there's a couple more here use your imagination guys when you're making ponds so easy to make this one here is made out of two kitchen sinks two kitchen sinks see the stainless steel there fellas so I've just dug a hole, put two old kitchen sinks in there and just camouflaged it all with rocks and native grasses and logs and everything else. So, but anyway guys, this is just a few. I've got more on the other side of my yard. Got a couple more over there somewhere. Probably about four or five more. So the other day, guys, I was looking in here, having a good look. The frogs have been croaking. They croak every single night. It's beautiful. And um, see the beautiful little baby tadpoles there? So the other day, I was looking in this pond. There was a beautiful, big, white, foamy nest. Kind of looks like detergent bubbles. And it's really, really sticky. And uh, so that's what um, these water frogs do, a lot of them do, not all of them lay foamy nests but most do, so there's just a big white frothy foamy nest and it was all full of baby tadpole eggs and uh, all of these tadpoles, so that nest is dissolved now and as you can see there's all beautiful baby tadpoles swimming around so there'd probably be at least probably 2,000 tadpoles in this little tiny pond so we're going to grab a few guys and transfer them. So also, I could use this little net. I'll just unzoom my camera fellas. 
So I could use that net too, fellas, but because they're so small, it's just going to be a lot more harder to transfer them into my aquarium, what I've got set up. So we'll just use a old jar. Gonna get any? Not right. Gotta find the right spot, fellas. Not having any luck? Where are they? Hope that frog hasn't been eating them. Oh, there's a few in there. They usually hide amongst his grass. So there's a few there, probably about 50. 50 beautiful little baby tadpoles. So let's go and transfer them into my other aquarium. The reason I do this, fellas, like I say, the frogs will eat them. And also, in the environment that's just natural a lot of them will die too and even get eaten by other tadpoles so we'll grab one more lot and I'll continue doing this here beautiful so I've got about probably eight different species of frogs in my yard guys and both summer and winter frogs. So the winter frogs are basically hibernating now. And when winter comes, the summer frogs hibernate. And not all frogs live in the water. I've got burrowing, sand burrowing frogs as well. And like a lot of frogs will burrow into the sand. And when it rains, their holes will get flooded with um, water and that's how they lay their tadpole eggs under the soil into a little muddy piece of uh, a little muddy hole full of water and even doesn't have to have water in it fellas even if it's just a really really moist and so forth it's amazing how it all works so I've got a little area here where I've got burrowing frogs. That's my veggie garden. So right here fellas is where a lot of burrowing frogs are living at the moment in this big patch of white and yellow sand. Anyway fellas I'll continue going time to water my veggie garden. So I'll put a link below to the tour of my garden if you're interested in checking out my other ponds and everything I'm growing at the moment as you can see that water's a little bit murky but it's just the way they love it it looks beautiful with the sunlight coming in water bugs in there you see that water bug I love finding water, I also put a lot of water bugs into my ponds as well, fellas. Nice native, any native species, water bugs, insects, dragonfly eggs and everything. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching and uh, yeah, check out my other frog and tadpole videos. I've got a huge passion for frogs and tadpoles, guys. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. See ya. A little bit dirty. See you, fellas. <laughs>